gathered today as the remnants of the Slovak community of uh, this yearly celebration of an independence and a yearly celebration as Slovak Americans here in the city of Perth Amboy. And so the raising of the flag is also the raising of our hearts. People came from different countries to here and they put their, their lives into the city, they built the city, and they gave themselves to it because they saw something valuable. And the Slovak community coming at the end of the last century, well, since 1898, 99, came to this country and also came to the city. So we'd like to do this flag raising with a little bit of understanding of who we are because as a nation, we're a rather young nation, but as a people, we're old. We go way back to the sixth century in Europe so that as a nation, we weren't really had our freedom. So that's such an important thing for us in America to talk about freedom, but freedom also has responsibilities. And to survive all these years, to finally become independent in, well, in 1993, but also in 1938, which sometimes we don't accept it, but we had, we had to become independent then because of a situation in Europe. So as we look at all of that, we raise the flag, we call to mind that we are Slovak, the Slovak Americans living in this country, we also have put in part and in influence of what took place in this country, in the state, and in the city. So and now we gather to pray and ask Father Martin, he would say the opening prayer for us. Amen. Nebeský Oče, ďakujeme Ti za to, že dnes sme sa tu mohli zísť, aby sme v Tvojom mene na Tvoju slávu a na pamiatku našich predkov, ktorí prišli do Spojených štátov amerických, ktorí tu začali nový život a generácia, jazyk, kultúra i viera v Teba pokračuje, aby sme ďalej aj my pokračovali. Ďakujeme Ti za dar svojej vlastnej národnosti, za dar vlastného jazyka aj kultúry. Otče náš, ktorý si na nebesiach, posved sa meno Tvoje, príď kráľovstvo Tvoje, buď zvoľa Tvoja, ako v nebi, tak i na zemi. Chlieb náš každodenný daj nám dnes a odpúsť nám naše viny, ako im my odpúšťame svojim vynikom. A neuved nás do pokušenia, ale zbav nás zlého. Amen. Heavenly Father, God bless our nation, especially Slovaks today, but all Americans, all the people around the world, and bring peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. I want to make some comments, I think sometimes we don't, people don't understand what Slovakia is, we get called sometimes by other nations, but it's a small country, and Slovaks have been there since the 6th century in Europe, uh, in that area, and they've stayed there, persecuted many times, and the only thing we have was culture and language that and sometimes in the land was taken away. So all those those things, the time of the early republics, the time of early uh, uh, empires under uh, Svatopulk and, and others, there was the thing of identity, identity and the nation, which is different than the country, the nation. If you understand the, uh, the Slovaks, it's always the nation to take care of the community. And so living there and under the persecution that took place after a while, not having an independent country. And then even in 18, uh, 1848, 49, the revolutions in Europe, Slovaks became even more persecuted. And then under Franz Joseph, with an agreement with, uh, with Hungarians, that the, the, the persecution got even worse. Many Slovaks immigrated, not only to America, but to Canada, into Central and South America. So Amer for a little country of only 5 million people, uh, we have gone all over the world and made a contribution in every place we've been. In the last years coming to this country, especially to the area of Perth Amboy, 1899 into World War I, Slovaks came here and again had no country. If you remember on uh, Washington Street and State Street, there was a sign on there that says, you can travel to Slovensko by the German lines. But Slovensko didn't exist. It was Austria-Hungary. And for many years as a child, I remember all the obituaries would say, so-and-so was born in Austria-Hungary. It was really Slovakia, but it was Austria-Hungary. And then we, did, we didn't have independence that came about after World War Two, after World War One, when the uh, Maserat uh, heard American Czechs and Slovaks talk about a free country in Europe. And it became, it was supposed to be called Czechoslovakia. Well, that soon dissipated, and the Pittsburgh Agreement was made fun of, even by those who signed it. Maserat, who became the first president of Czechoslovakia, said, eh, it's just a piece of paper. We were forgotten. We had no longer had that independence we thought we would have under that agreement. And then at the beginning of World War II, 
and the Nazi regime taking all of all of Europe, they gave us an ultimatum. Either Slovaks become independent or we'll wipe you out and no one will ever remember you again. So a little country squeezed to become almost a string bean now from what it was, is independent in 1938-39. And then after the war it was pushed back into become part of Czechoslovakia, and it became then an independent state in, in after 1969 with the uh, with Dubček after Dubček's uh, arrest by the by the Soviets and all the rest, it became a uh, Czechoslovakia two uh, countries mm. under a federation. But that wasn't true either. And the suffering that people went through, the Slovaks had two things that kept us together, language and culture. And that was the key that gave us an identity and gave us a, an understanding of who we were. And that kept us together. That's why Christianity is so important to Slovaks. And also the language is so important. Sadly, that through intermarriage and being here so long, we've forgotten the language. And sometimes we've forgotten the cultures. We don't do the things we did on Easter and Christmas because we're too busy being whatever we're supposed to be. We are Americans, yes. But as a culture, we have to be able to remember that we have ancestry that goes back to the 6th century in Europe. And all the, the torture and all the anger and bitterness against us and all the, the, the nonsense that went on, we still are here. And that's the key. And even in Perth Amboy, as the numbers dwindle, the fact that the Lord allows us to still be here, still sing His praises, because the Christianity is the key for Slovaks and, and to celebrate who we are in our own language, if we can remember some of it. And so looking at all of that, to remember that also Slovaks in this country came to America. America was the ideal. United of America was the, the fact. But when they came here, immigrants weren't accepted very readily at first. And so our school systems were so important to keep the culture together. And the American Slovaks had organizations that built up all kind of, uh, of, of religious orders, and all kind of, uh, of nuns, both for nuns and for priests, and it kept us going. And now that times have changed, we realize we've dwindled. But remember that in American Slovak culture, that in this country, there were, there were artists, there were musicians, there were politicians, there were people in the fire, firehouse, people as policemen, people in the arts, people in drama, uh, people in medicine, people in, in science. In fact, uh, Father Morgash, Joseph Morgash in Wilkes-Barre, was the one who helped to invent the radio, the, the, the radio, that, but he was forgotten about that, it was given to Marconi, but we forget that, because who are those Slovaks anyway? And I think we don't, we don't do it in bitterness, but we do it in remembrance that it was God who gave us those talents. Although we didn't have a place to call our own for many years, we still had a people that we called our own, and that kept us together. And that will keep us together, even as our numbers may dwindle in this city. But the city, our, our, our people were part of so much of the city, made it as it was. Whether they worked in the factories, whether they worked at City Hall, whether they worked in the firehouses and the police, and all the parts that made the city function. And so we remember them also as we gather now. And as we remember all those, even Cernan, who was an astronaut, was a Slovak. Well, Lou Holt, who was the, the, the uh, 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 what do you call it, for the football in Notre Dame. He was the, he was the coach. Uh, there were Slovaks there. There were so many Slovaks, but we, no one thought of us as Slovaks. We were like, oh, who's that? Is that Yugoslavia? Or is that Poland? Or is that Russia? No, it's a little country. As Father Martin said the other day, sometimes the Europeans even say, five million people, oh, you are a big city. But what a city is to remember. What a city. And I remember being in Slovakia, the one symbol that was there that I still remember in my heart from a little place called Popolchani. There's a sign that says, I cannot respect my culture unless I respect yours. But I cannot respect yours unless you respect mine. And I think we've forgotten that. And I think that we and the people that live in this country of America, which we made our own, need to remember that. I cannot respect mine. I don't respect yours, but I can't respect yours if you don't respect mine. And when we do that, we understand the gifts God has given to us as a people and as a nation. So I say that to you to be, to be joyful at what we have and who we are and what we are, and to continue to be faithful to that as we live in a place that's changed, of a city that's changed, and also even our churches. Up until the 1960s, national parishes were guarded by the canon law. You could not touch them. They had to be there, and all of a sudden it was like, now you can get rid of them and just make them American. And doing so, we lost so much of our culture. And we bring back, not with bitterness, but understanding of where we've come from and where we yet have to go. May we not forget the languages, even our national anthem. There's two of them. It says, the spirit of Slovaks will live. But our language is there too. 
even if it's a few words you can remember, not to forget, because that keeps us together, that strengthens us, and allows us on this journey, that we go, all people, on a journey. We're only here for a short while. If we make a difference as our ancestors did being here and what they gave here, that we leave that also, not in bitterness or in sadness, but with faith that the God who loves us has given us given us a nation in, in January 1st of 1993. After so many years, this young little nation of Slovakia becomes independent and separate, and we rejoice in that. But many years it took to get there, but now we're there. And the Lord says, well done, good and faithful servants. And so we are the Lord's always. Our identity is our Christianity and our faith. Our identity is our culture. That's kept us together all these years. Zaboha Anado. That will always be our cry, always be our call. May God bless us, bless Slovak Americans, bless America, and bless the city in which we live and keep us together always. Amen. Amen. God bless for time, boy. Good afternoon or good morning. <laughs> On behalf of the Honorable Mayor Helman Kaba, um, we present you this proclamation in honor of the Independence Day of the Flag Race and the Flag Raising. So if I may, Father, to read it, if that's okay. So whereas Slovakia, officially the Slovak Republic, is a landlocked country in Central Europe with rugged mountains, rich in mineral resources, vast forests, pastures, and culturally known for its castles, costumes, music, song, architecture, traditions, dances, and dialects. And whereas Slovak history sim symbolizes Slavonic harmony and independence commemorating its people and their ongoing support for human rights. And whereas we gather together this day to recognize and pay tribute to the Slovak community of the city of Perth Amboy, which has played an active role in European history in the areas of politics, military, science, sports, religion, inventions, and business, as well as in our own community as Slovak Americans. And whereas the Slovak community is a people of great pride and spirit with an ever constant desire to persevere thereby creating a solid united force of their independence and personal freedom. And therefore, on behalf of uh, Mayor Helmut Kaba, we recognize Slovak Independence Day and acknowledge the outstanding contributions of the Slovak community in the city of Przemysl.
coming here and those who made their home here and made it a place of faith, of hope, and of love for brothers and sisters. We sing, God bless America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies. To the ocean, swipe before. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Before our final prayer, I just remind you that although this, this country was so far away from Slovakia, that very important patriots like Andrei Glinka and Dr. Josef Tiso came to Perth Amboy and were here at Holy Trinity. And uh, that many of the people that were very important in Slovak history came here and were part of the, the culture here and went back taking with them the hope that they saw in our eyes and our people and our families. May we never forget them either. Let us, as we have the final prayer, not forget all those of our family whom the Lord has called to himself, where there is no night anymore, but only day, no more tears, but joy, no more fear, but life forever. As we now pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O good and gracious God, you love us all. You gather us as brothers and sisters. You give us a land to till and give you honor. As we remember our ancestors and those who came here, and those who lived here and those who have died, we give you thanks for their efforts, and for their love, and for their faith. We ask you to give us strength to continue that in our own life, that as we live with our brothers and sisters in a multicultural society, we always show respect for others and ask for respect for ourselves, showing respect for ourselves by showing the respect for them. And in doing so, truly make that truly alive. Your words that come to us, you make us as brothers and sisters, you make us as people, as one. And you gather us together, your sons and daughters, in the heaven that gathers all in love and peace, now and ever and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Slava Jesus Christus. Slava Nabi. Maria, O Karana, O Dvoha Mnie Dana, Nie musim sajavat, Lebo je pri mne mať, Maria, Maria, nemusím sa ja bať, lebo je pri mne mať, Maria, Maria. Remember also that the, the, the Greek Catholic Church in Slovakia was crushed in 1950, has come back and has grown. And now we know the problems that's going on in Ukraine. Many Ukrainians 
have gone to Slovakia to find a, a place of refuge. And this little country has taken them in too, struggling as it does with its own economy, but not to forget its brothers and sisters as it gathers them there. Let us remember that and let us pray for the end of that war and a, and a peace in this world which we need so desperately. May God watch us, protect us, and love us. And God bless us all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father.